Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to show you how to use absolute positioning. We've got a couple of buttons here, we've got them absolutely positioned over our image there. And we've got another couple of buttons here that we've got absolutely positioned under a little module there. Really easy to do and this is a great thing to use and it's totally responsive. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go and add a new row and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to put two columns in just like I've got above. In the first column I'm going to put an image module. Let's add our image. Let's use a different one. Okay. So we've got our image right there. I'm just going to save that. Now say you want to place two little buttons over the top of the image like we've done before. Let's add a new module, little black button to add a new module. And we'll add a button. It doesn't have to be a button, it can be anything you want. We're going to use buttons for our example today. There's our button, I'm just going to give it a bit of a colored background so we can see it better over our image. So I'm going to go over design. There's the button. I'm going to make the text white background red. I'm going to take the border away. I'm not going to go through the link and everything like that. If you want to know how to use buttons, have a look at our buttons video in our Divi Shorts playlist. Okay, we've got that one. Let's add another one also. So I'm just going to clone that button so we've got two identical ones. Okay, we're now going to absolutely position them over the top of this image right here. So let's grab our first one go into it with a little cog, go over to your advanced tab and down to position and here's position, a little drop down and you'll find absolute. As you can see it's popped it to the top left corner. We've got a little matrix down below, you can have it top left, middle, right, wherever it is you want to position it. And what it's doing it, it's absolutely positioning it within the parent container that it's in and the parent container that it's in is actual, actually the column of the row. Remember we created a row with two columns? The parent container for this, because they're sitting in that column, is the column. So it's positioning it in that actual column. And we can offset it. So I quite like that one right up the top there. But this bottom one, I'd like to be right on the bottom corner of that image. So let's go into that second one. And again, we'll go over to Absolute Positioning by going to Advanced, Position, Absolute. And you can't see it because it's popped it straight under that one up there. But if I hit that, it'll pop it down the bottom there. Okay, well like I say, I don't want it hanging off the bottom like that. I want it to go up a bit so it'll be on the actual image itself. Now if you have a problem, if you created two buttons and one's on top of each other like that, let's just save this you may have a hard time getting to it because they're going to be sort of on top of each other so you can't get to the button. If you have that problem, hit the little purple button at the bottom and this little icon over here will take us to wireframe mode or sort of back end mode. And there's our two little buttons there. So we can go into it this way once you're in there you can flip it back to whichever view you like, desktop, tablet or mobile. Roll it up we can go back in there and reposition it where we want. That's just a little tip if you have problems there. Now I want to offset it vertically so it sits up a little bit. So we've got vertical and horizontal offset. Then you may ask what Z index is. If it's not displaying on top of the image, then you might want to take the Z index up because what a Z index will do is a number Say this has got this button's got a Z index of 34. If you make sure the image has a Z index which is smaller than 34 by going into it and doing the same thing, the button will always appear on top of the image. But we're okay in this case. So let's pop it up a little bit vertically. And you can just use the little arrows or you can slide it up if you want to. Get it close to where you want it. 
and then pop it right where you want it. Now to check that this is going to work on responsive devices, we can hit our little icons here, have a look at it on a tablet. Let's go down to it. Yep, that works fine on a tablet. They're sitting exactly the right place. Let's have a look on our mobile. And again, they're sitting on exactly the right place. Fantastic. So that's one example of how to use it. And above you'll see another example where we've got a little call to action module and we wanted to give it double buttons underneath. So let's do something like that. We'll save this. Let's go back to our desktop view. And in this second column, I'm just going to throw in a call to action. I'm not going to use the button for, for it. There we go. I'm going to take that background away and just make that text dark. Go to background, trash it. Go over to design and text and make it dark because it's light on light at the moment. That's why you can't see it. Great. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Let's add a couple of buttons. And I'll go back over to the design again. And we'll just make it a color that we can see nicely. I'll make the text white and the background purple. And I'm going to take that border away again. Of course, the styling is entirely up to you. Okay, and let's just clone this one again. Okay. Well, let's do the same thing. We'll go into this top one. We're going to absolutely position it. Advanced, position. Absolute. And again, it's popped it in the top. I kind of want it down the bottom, but I don't want it quite all the way to the left there, but we'll reposition that in a minute. Let's work on our other one. Same thing, advanced, position, absolute. I want this over this side. Let's move this over here so you can see. Great. Well, that's little too far away and that's a little too close so let's we're in this one at the moment so let's vertically and horizontally offset it so vertically I want to go up a little bit maybe not as much as that 20 and I want it to be in just a little bit let's round it up to 100 and we may have to offset this on tablet and mobile. Now, of course, I want this one to be in line with this one. So we can probably do that very easily by going into it. Again, we'll go over to advance to its position. And let's just move it across on top of this. So we can see that they're lining up vertically. We'll take it down as far as we want to get it. There we go, they're both together now. And let's take this, should be about 100, the same as the other one. Great, now let's check it on responsive devices. Again, we can just hit this down here, or you've actually got horizontal offsets here in case we need to change it. So we'll use this one in case we need to change it. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing there, you'll see these icons appear. If there's a little mobile phone type icon, which there is here, you can set a desktop state. We're happy with that. Let's click on the tablet. Move this out of the way so we can see. Go down to where we were. That's actually not too bad. I mean, I could move those a little closer together on tablet. Let's have a look on mobile. And on mobile, they're overlapping. So we need to go the other way with the mobile. So with our horizontal offset, we're on that one there. I'm gonna move it back out here a little ways. Let's say minus five. And let's go back to tablet. Could move that a little bit closer. Say 150 perhaps, that might be too much. What about 130? That's probably gonna work. Now we need to go into the other button and do similar. Let's 
and again back over to advanced position horizontal get the little icon mobile phone icon and on tablet this was about 130 I think so we'll bring it across should be the same let's just type it in or you can increment fine-tune with a little arrows there okay that's fine for me and on mobile we need to bring it over to the right hand side some more because it's still overlapping I think we were minus five on the last one There we go, and that'll work on the mobile. Just check it again on the tablet. It's fine, and on the desktop, it's fine too. Let's save our changes now. Save the page changes. If your little button's not open there, just click on it to open it up. Save the changes. Let's exit the Visual Builder. Go on down. And there's our absolutely positioned buttons over the image there and under the call to action. We've got a sort of double button thing just to check it's going to work. I've got Google Chrome here. So if I, if I hit the F12, it'll bring up my responsive toggle. There it is right there. If I click that one to on, roll on down. Here it is on an iPhone SE. That's fine. Those are fine. Let's have a look on a tablet of some sort. I guess an iPad. Here it is on the tablet and again that's fine those two buttons are just where we want them and toggle off back to desktop and there we have it so there's a little overview of how to use absolute positioning with the Divi theme it's really useful and you can get some great effects going with it if you play with it and in the next video we'll show you how to use fixed positioning so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.